Hey, what's up guys? Ben and Locker. welcome back to another video and today we'll be together unboxing the figure of a character from probably one of many people's favourite isekai animes in recent seasons and I'm sure many of you guys have watched the anime but this time we'll not be unboxing the main character, him or herself? <sighs> but let's just go with a him instead so we'll be together unboxing his BFF and without further ado, and here it is, Mili Nava from Tensei Shitara Slime Data Ken. So, as usual, this medium EXQ figure is released by Pan Presto back in June 2019 as a prize figure. But speaking of the slime anime itself, I would say it's a rather plain isekai anime with nothing too outstanding for it to be a big hit, but have you ever seen such a cute <laughs> demon lord before? I guess no, right? Or if you have any ideas, be sure to let me know down in the comment sections below because no one else comes in my mind at the moment. And that brings us to my most recent pickup of this Milim EXQ figure. So on the front of our box, we get a preview of the figure itself and we see Milim over here on the background. And on the front, we see the EXQ figure labeling, the anime titles, and also the anime logo over here. And on the side, we get a full preview of Milim herself and we see here posing right here. But other than that, there's really nothing special about the EXQ boxes. And if you have seen my previous unboxing videos before, you know that all the EXQ figures shares the same box design overall. And yeah, now we're pretty much done with the box. Let's get inside. As you can see, this medium XU figure comes in 6 different parts which is considered a lot more compared to the previous EXU figures that we have unboxed together and first up, we have a strand of hair over here a stick that acts as a support for the figure the two ponytails, medium herself and as usual, our friendly white base which serves as the anchor for the figure and now we just need a simple assembly for the figure and Starting from top we see Milim's rather wild pink hair with two ponytails extending to the sides and the ponytails have this sort of multi-layered kind of hair right here and they're tied into shape with two plain black hairbands She also has a strand of hair on the top which curls backwards and that's a really cool touch Moving a bit down to her face Milim has this rather interesting eye design with a rather thick brown eyelashes there It's also my first time actually to see the teeth of a character on an anime figure and yeah, I would say that's something new to me Now shifting to our body, on the front we'll see Milim's white chest plate over here and with some black edges around it and connecting to two black sleeves with some gold arrow accents right there She also has this tall black collar right there and I guess that's to give her some sort of demon lock kind of vibe Also, she's wearing a necklace with animal tooth in three different colors being red, white and blue Oh, I just realized on the back of her right arm she has this green orb or gem kind of thing attached to it Moving down further, we see Milin's black underwear which has this tiny ribbon on the left side and on the right side, she has this large piece of cloth which reminds me of a tail of a tuxedo which looks really cool Now coming to her legs, which is probably the most interesting yet significant design of the whole figure On her left leg, she's wearing this white leg band kind of thing with some pink polka dots all around it and on the edges, she has this sort of fluffy off-white kind of edge which goes all around and on the right leg she's wearing this uh, leggings socks kind of thing with pink and white alternating all the way to the bottom finally Milim's red leg piece has some dragon scales 
on it and stacking on top of each other forming something like a boot and not to forget our best friend the white base which serves as the anchor for the whole figure actually this figure also comes with this white stick which is supposed to act as the support for the figure but even without it it will still stand very well so I guess that's optional. As for sizing, the Millium XQ figure measures a height of roughly 22cm which is almost the standard for every EXQ figure and if you already have an EXQ figure yourself, you can expect her to be around the same height. As for design, Ban Presto decided to stick to her original design base in the anime series and to be honest, I don't really have much complaint this time because I think Millium's original outfit has already a pretty unique design which could let her kind of stand out. The Millennium EXU figure actually exceeds my expectation and is much better to see in person than the pictures on the internet. Colors and tiny details are pretty well done as well. Overall, this cute figurine of Millennium is definitely one of the better made EXU figurine which every slime fans can appreciate. But would you consider picking up one for yourself? Please let me know down in the comment sections below. And yeah, I guess that's all for this video. Remember to like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I have more videos coming your way soon. Until next time, Benelock out.